Storytime at Home, presented by the Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library. Hi, my name is Miss Lori, and I'm a children's librarian in the Outreach Services Department. Today we're going to read Thankful by Elaine Vickers and illustrated by Samantha Cotterill. Every year when the first snow falls, we make thankful chains to last us through December. It is hard to think of all the things to be thankful for in a whole year, so I start right in my own room. I am thankful for a home where I'm safe and warm. Thankful for parents who read me stories and brush my hair gently, gently who whisper the same poem every night when they tuck me in. Good night, dream sweet things, let them carry you on their wings, and whatever tomorrow brings, I love you. I am thankful for all those things, love and dreams, night and morning, for a moon and a sun that always come back for stars and candles to make my wishes on. I am thankful for my wish that came true. A dog, round and soft, that wiggles and jumps when I am happy and comforts me when I am scared. I am thankful for a heart that beats, tuck, 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 and every breath, in and out, in and out. I am thankful for a friend who waits for me at recess, and a teacher who knows when I'm trying my best. I am thankful for doors that lead to wonderful places and books that do that too. I am thankful for things that are warm, soup and socks and the spot under the covers where someone has just been sleeping. I am thankful for Things that are cold, icy water in my favorite cup, a cloth on my forehead when I feel sick, snow that softens the whole world. I am thankful for things that are soft and fresh like laundry, bread, moss on rock. for things that are hard, like pedals and handlebars and a smooth road for riding bikes with friends. And I am thankful for stop signs and seat belts and things that keep me safe, scraped knees and ripped jeans and things that get fixed. for wind and sand, but not at the same time. I am thankful for color. And pencils and paper to tell my stories. My ideas keep connecting one to another to another until I am too sleepy to think anymore Come, my parents say, let's get you to bed. As I pull the quilt to my chin, my parents say those special words. Good night, dream sweet things, let them carry you on their wings, and whatever tomorrow brings, I love you. Tomorrow my family will read aloud the first links in our thankful chain. But tonight, 
all the things I'm thankful for stretch around my window like a frame around a picture of the thing I am thankful for most of all. Good night, world, I whisper, and thank you. The end. Wasn't that a great story about, wait a minute, <clears throat> sorry. I have to, I wanna start with the book in my yep. hand. Wasn't that a great story about being thankful? You can make your own paper chain of what you are thankful for, just like the little girl in the story. And for that, you might want to start with some paper. I have some printer paper. You could use any color. Um, and I cut strips off of it, and I started my chain. This is the chain that I've started, and it has three pieces. The first piece says mom and dad. The middle piece says books. And the next piece says, sister. So those are three things that I'm thankful for, and I'm sure I'll find a lot more. I'll keep my chain going. You can do this simple project with your own paper, markers or crayons, and tape, glue, or staples. And you make your circles by taking your paper and either using the glue, staples, or tape to put the pieces together in a circle and you just keep doing that until you have your chain. Now your chain can go as long as you'd like and you don't have to do it all in one day. As you think of things to be thankful for, add more. I will. I hope you enjoyed the stories today. Bye. Get free books in the mail. Sign up today. Go to Ohio Imagination Library. O-R-G to find out more.